I have no idea how you say breakfast at Tiffany's in Japanese or Mandarin Chinese, but investors might want to learn. Tiffany's soaring in early trading Tuesday as the company's sales and earnings blew away forecasts. And here's what's the most interesting thing. It wasn't really sales in the flagship New York store or the Americas in general that really shone. Yes, Tiffany did do well in the United States, but the real growth came abroad, particularly Asia Pacific, led by China and also Japan. Tiffany's sales in Japan may not sound that great on the surface. They were only up a reported 2% in the quarter, but that's because the yen has weakened dramatically so far this year. Once you factor out the currency exchange rates, Japan sales actually rose 20%. That, I think, is a sign that Abinomics is working. Consumers in Japan more willing to spend on luxury goods like Tiffany's jewelry. And that could be a trend around the world. Like I said, the U.S. was the weakest in terms of sales growth. Even Europe on a same store sales basis did better than the Americas. And this could be a very good sign for the global economy. A lot of concerns about whether or not the rich were going to hold up their end of the bargain and keep spending, even though there are definite concerns about a sluggish global economy, at least in the case of Tiffany, People are definitely buying those blue boxes.